Really? That you? So. Shit. Thought you were. Come on. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me too. It went ass up, huh? Not as planned. You heard about the heist, I take it. Must have uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Old damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? We meet. Let's meet, please. Are you at Lizzie's? NCPD, open up. But soak in that sun while you can. There's a cold front. for faces. We're closed right now. I'm uh, looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come around. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know. Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do now? Read some sentences. That don't work. I don't know. You led. I, I don't care. I just want my rope back. <laughs> Judy is embarrassing herself. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? So concerned about strays, go take care of your guest. Sus, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community. Solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first, family or the outside this world? This is a club. Nobody cares about your lofty worldviews. 
What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? I need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. You need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. It wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. I see the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. If I miss this time, enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Our sock and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty, except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang, suits collars, and gets swept. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day I half brain dead, dude. 
drags me around a cat house in the wild horse chase. So having a grand old time. I think Judy's lying. Why? A little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. It's time for your local news. Violence continues to plague the Badlands. Oh, stop. So hold on. You take a blow up dog. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core, end up paying an arm and a leg for a ripper dock. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning the biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. Looking for Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I'm not a customer. Well, all the more reason to be excited. There's a first time for everyone at Clouds. It's no reason to dawdle. All you need to do is jack in. We'll create your personal profile and you'll be good to go. Huh. <sighs> I'm sorry. Did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into... experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting? Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky rather go with sky i couldn't have chosen better myself now for the payment and you'll venture into the clouds 
There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. You won't find any you... Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, I'm Skye. And you must be... Vincent? Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V... You're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside. You fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors. Way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Look for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why the man just say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything. Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. You just gonna talk in circles? That it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. What's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone, game over. You can't know that for certain, even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it, and it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since, or for what's to come. 
What's past is past. I'm over it. You're in denial, don't you see? Would it change things even by a hair if I wasn't? So what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez. Don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. Samurai. What's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake. Ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong. A lot of things been going on in my head lately. This was... different. Refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. I get why people come here. Come back. But I need something else. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. I need this info. Name your price. Oh, fuck you, your Eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them are inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. The customer attacked her. I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Gonna just stand there or tell me a number. Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where'll I find him? 
VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. Let's take a look, shall we? Blood. Fresh, not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. Client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? Weird. Unauthorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir or we're gonna have to escort you outside. short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Relax. You don't need any data. Don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. I'm here to talk to you specifically, not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo, 
Yeah, definitely Oslo. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Uh... You know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. Oh, I see. Of course I'm in, in, in my capacity. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know it.
Looks familiar. What's that? Evelyn's jacket. It's crumpled like a tissue. It must have been here a while. What do you want? I'm gonna ask the questions. Drop your iron and start and talking. I Just stay on died. point. And I said, drop it. I'm not dropping. <laughs> what would you got? Bouncer schedule. You just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes. Or scour his comp. That just might work. It hurt! Sold her off to a ripper. Chip was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream. There's a boy. Shit's in it though. Must have left in a hurry.
I'm required to return your weapons. No, I'd rather not. Hey, I don't know anything. I just work here. Nice work back there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. <laughs> of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H-bomb on this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. I think Fingers got her. I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. <laughs> <laughs>